Alright, welcome to the Switch tutorial for RPG Maker XP. Uh, if you need previous tutorials, uh, the event list, the basics of the game, uh, this is pretty advanced stuff. Well, it's going to get advanced, but uh, for now it is going to be pretty simple. But if you need events, if you need the basics, anything like that, you click my name and uh, you can find the rest of them. Alright, today we're working on switches. and. Uh, since I have a time limit and a size limit for YouTube, I'm not going to be able to delve in too deep. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is make this basic switch tutorial, and then maybe later on make an advanced switch tutorial. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, new project, game title, blah blah blah, it's whatever. Alright, uh, a basic switch. I'm just going to teach you how they work first off. Uh, Alright, first of all, switches. Switches are anything like they have to be, you know, a switch has to be turned on to work, right? I mean, for the most part, anyways. And so that's basically how they work. They tell the system different things. Like, they can tell the system that you have a key, or they can tell them that this person needs to say something else. Or So let's go ahead and make somebody here. We're going to make a fighter 2, have him facing down. Uh, we'll make him say or new event, show text, we're going to make him say uh, this is a tutorial okay and so when we play test up here when it loads alright in play test, of course, when we walk up to him it's going to say this is a tutorial okay, well that's pretty boring, right? I mean, you don't want someone to say one thing over and over. So what we're going to do is going to go to New Event Page. We're going to check Switch under Conditions and press the arrow next to 0001. And now you'll see this big list of switches, but there, are, there aren't any. You know, they don't have names. So we're going to go ahead and name that first one Guy Talks. Apply. Okay. So what this is... Or here, actually, we're going to put in some text. Uh, this is a tutorial. This is still a tutorial, is what we're going to make him say after he says this is a tutorial. Alright, what this is saying is conditions, switch, 0001, guy talks is on, then say text, this is, a, er, this is still a tutorial. So now, what we have to do is because that switch didn't turn on yet, we have to go back to the first page, and under this is a tutorial, insert an event, go to control switches which is right next to show text single 0001 guy talks operation is on so this it means control switches 001 guy talks equals on and now on the second page the condition for it saying this is still a tutorial is switch 001 guy talks is on so check this out play test go up to him this is a tutorial uh oh, run into a little speed bump here. Uh, go ahead and close that. Uh, forgot to mention on the second page, because the event is changing, we have to change the graphic too. Like, because he disappeared when it switched. So we need the graphic to stay the same. Now let's go ahead and apply that, and if you want, we can play test it. Uh, okay. This is a tutorial. This is still a tutorial. And now he's just going to repeat, this is still a tutorial. Now if you want him to repeat many things, instead of just saying one thing, going to another and repeating that, then on the second page what we're going to do is insert an event, control switches, guy talks is off. And so what that'll do is play test. It'll make him loop, basically. New game, talk to him, this is a tutorial, this is still a tutorial this is a tutorial, this is still a tutorial. And basically that's how switches work. Uh, they're not too complicated unless you start getting into variables and branches and etc cetera, etc cetera, which I will show you. Well I guess I can show you variables right now. Let's see. Time, time, time. What are we doing on time? Okay, we should be good. Okay. Say, uh... Okay, here. We're gonna make a new event and we're gonna make it a girl. Let's find a girl. Alright, that's that's a girl right there, the red hair. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make her text girl or yeah, okay, girl gives you a kiss. 
Okay. And now we're going to go up here to New Event Page. Make a new one. Uh, check Switch. Actually, we're not going to do switches. What we're going to do is variable. Uh, check variable, click the arrow, and make this area variable called kiss. Apply. And now on the second page, variable stays checked. Uh, and under variable 0001 kiss uh, is and to change 0 to 1. So it says is 1 or above. And make the text, uh, no, not text, insert an event and down here click conditional branch and uh, the variable we're going to change it from switch to variable and we're going to change it from 0001 kiss is equal to constant 1 and click OK now you see two different places you can insert text here or insert any event so if uh, let's see if conditional branch variable 0001 kiss equals 1 then show text you already got a kiss from me and then or else which means if it's not equal to one then blah 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 which actually since that that shouldn't really matter the else because since there's no way to talk to her without you know having kiss equaling one then you know so that's pretty pointless but you can still use it and uh, I think that's it for the switch uh, tutorial. Let's go ahead and play test this. Make sure I didn't screw anything up. Let's talk to her. Girl gives you a kiss. Okay, at that point, your variable just changed to one. Your kiss variable just changed to one because that's what we told it to. So we just told the system that we have a kiss. And now when we try and talk to her again, it says she gave you a kiss. Hmm. We went wrong somewhere, or I went wrong somewhere. Right, we need to make a switch. On the second page, switch, click the arrow, and make the second one, girl, kiss, and apply. And make that switch the condition that you have to have it. And go back to the first page, insert, control switches, uh, girl, kiss is on. Apply, OK, play test. Now, uh, let's see if we got this working here. Girl gives you a kiss. Girl gives you a kiss. Stop giving me a kiss, you hooker. Alright. Uh, hmm. Alright, let me pause this right quick. Oh, okay, right. Um, on the first page, we didn't change the variable to 1. So, that, like... For it to play the second page, you have to have that kiss variable has to equal one. Well, on the first page, we never told it to change our variable to one. My, my mistake. So we're going to insert an event on the first page, and under control switches, it's control variables. And we're going to change kiss to add a constant of one. Change the operation to add. OK, apply. Now this should work. And if not, this girl's just a hooker, and we got to forget about her. Got to move on girl gives you a kiss. And she disappears. Okay, good, good. All we did is forget the graphic in which we will change if I can find her. There she is. Alright, so this should be good. This should be it. This should be the end of the tutorial. I'm not sure. This girl's pretty... I don't know. Girl gives you a kiss. You already got a kiss from me. Look at that. We fixed it. Alright, and that's the basic knowledge of switches and variables and later on there'll be an advanced one so anyways hope you tried to learn something from this i mean i know it's pretty freaking confusing i mean 10 minutes for that crap but anyways all right later